Damarav, Yud Beis and Beis, four lines from the top. This is really within the topic of what is kosher schach. We learned in the Mishnah, it has to be Gedule Karka, and has to be something which is not Mikabel Toma. Says Rabbi Yudah Merav, Sechecha, if you make schach bechitzin, chitzin are arrows, Zacharim are male arrows. Now, Rav Nachi, can you grab one of the picture books, please? Thank you. Kishira. So if you use male arrows, we'll explain what this means in a moment. It is kosher. Vinekevais, thank you. If you use female arrows, then it's going to be possible. So the difference being, Rashi explains that the, the male, every component you have... Um, this is actually hard to see what's going on over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, to put it simply, it's the arrow here. Chavra. Basically, the, the, the arrow is the stick, and then you have the arrow head. Okay? So, you have the arrow head that sticks onto a stick. So, if the stick goes in, then it's a male arrow head. If the arrow head is a hole and the head goes into it, then it is a female arrowhead. So if you look over here, look over here, you, no one can see it if I do this. Uh, no one can see this. Oy, oy, oy. Have, uh, Rabbi Shoshi, before you sit down, just grab another picture book for them. You'll see with me, and they'll see with him, and Rabbi Shoshi will see with me, and we'll all be good. So here, just grab, get, drop, drop them a book, have her page uh, 45. 45 in the bottom. Here you'll see over here. Beautiful. This is, you'll see from the contrast, this, as you, we're not talking about the head, we're talking about the shaft. The arrow shaft, you see it's pointy, that's the Zachar arrow shaft, the male arrow shaft. See over here on the top, see how there's a hole that it goes in, then that is the female arrow shaft. Again, the female arrow shaft is the part, you see that it goes in, we're talking about the shaft, not the head. See this, this part over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the female, this is the male, the male is when it goes into the head. When it goes into the head, we're talking about again, the, the shaft. When it goes into that, it's the zachar. When it accepts the head, then it is the nekeva. So it says the Gemara, this is going to determine which are kosher for schach, interestingly enough. If you use the male arrowhead, says the Gemara, <clears throat> it's kosher. The female arrowhead is possible. Why? Says the Gemara. Oh, that's good. Ah, cold water. Hits the spot. It's amazing. Something like water could just do it. Ah. Ah, okay. <clears throat> what should I tell you? That's what we're holding right now. I don't know if the voice just took a, took, a, took a little walk. Says the Gemara. Zacharim. Maybe it's a cold taki, you're right. In the cold, it's hard to talk. Zacharim. If you have the male arrowhead, it's kosher pshita. So what's the, why, what do you think it's possible? Ma'u de teima. I would have thought, nigzar zacharim atu nekevais. That just like the female arrow shaft is possible, so to the zachar. Kamash malan. There's no gezeira. Ben is psula. Pshita. Why is it pashit? So look for the tarots, and then we'll understand, and we'll read it again, and it'll be beautiful. What makes something mekabel tuma? So a cup is mekabel tuma. Why? Well, not a plastic clee. one will be debate. Because a kli. What makes it a kli? Oh, uh, uh, good. A base kibble. What's a base kibble? Anything that could hold something inside. So when you had the female arrow shaft flip the page, well, it then it could hold something. I don't know, it could hold an ounce or something, but you could theoretically put some liquid into the shaft. So if it could hold something, then it's mekabel tuma then it's possible for schach. If it cannot hold, which is the male one, then it's kosher. So says the Gemara, by the male one, it's kosher, it's kosher. What's the chiddish? I would think you make a gzera. By the female one, it's possible. What's the chiddish? Ma'u de tema. Base kibol ha'osui limalois. This is a base kibol, a receptacle, but is made limalois, to fill it up. So you would think, since it's made to fill it up, not like a cup is made to fill. It's not made to fill, it's made to fill and empty, fill and empty. But over here, the arrow shaft, it's made just till you put the head on. 
So you would think maybe it's a momentary base kibbal. So you would think lo yishmei base kibbal, and therefore maybe it should be kosher, kamash malon, la maisa to base kibbal, la maisa could hold liquids. Therefore, it is possible. So this applies to anything with any sort of hollow. Oh, very good, very good. Lechayra, anything with any sort of hollow would be puzzle for tzach. Is the question? Like yeah. Bamboos. Oh, bamboo sticks have a hollow. So the answer lechayra is is that bamboo, and this is dinim tum of attire, which I am certainly not proficient in. Having a base keyboard needs to be something that the base keyboard is used, that the receptacle is used. If I have something that's hollow, but it's not used, so fascinating would be, the chilik would be, if I have a man-made, um, I don't know, uh, uh, something that holds liquids, it would indeed be possible. And the reason is, then it gets a shame kli, but these are a complicated dinam of tumma v'tayra, but that is um, the chilik between the male arrow shafts and the female arrow shafts. Beautiful. Continues the Gemara. Amar Rabba Bar Bar Chano, Amar Rav Yechanan. Eight lines to the bottom. The first one line is Amar Rav Yechanan. Sechecha ba'anitze pishton, bundles of combed flax. What is combed flax? I don't know. It's probably some sort of wool type of thing. Psula, it's puzzle. Behutzne pishton, but if it's not processed flax, it just came off of the animal. It's not processed or just grew. Whatever flax are, then. Kshira. So again, if it's processed, it's pasal. If it's not processed, it's kosher. What's the reason? The simple reason is, it has to do with the of Tum of Etaira, that once something is processed, once something is made, then it gets a din of a kli, and then it's going to be pasal. So when I have the processed flax, it's going to be pasal, whereas the unprocessed flax will be kosher. The hoshnei pishtan, this is a middle level, if it's partially processed flax, I don't know. So if it's processed, puzzle. If it's not processed, kosher. What if it's partially processed? What does that mean? Partially processed. Then, says the Gemara, and what exactly is Partially processed flax. In here, I don't know as well. So you don't know what it is, and we don't know what the din is. Manashach says the Gemara. E dayik, and now we're going to learn how you make flax. So for all the farmers and Amish amongst us, this will be Pashit. For the rest of us, we'll call them city boys. This will be Chinese. And there's always someone that understands. Nah, you probably know what we're talking about, no? Yeah, about the, about the, you have a sheep in the backyard. E dayik. A flax even come from sheep? No, flax is like, like a reed. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, us city boys have no clue what's going on over here. Okay, listen, the difference between someone from New York and someone from out of town. What should I tell you? It's just they the Matisse. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> In each scenario, their own. That's the right way to say it. The son on Chavez was tightening Havish draw, uh, Ruve Maskut, making a bris tomorrow. So he was saying when he moved into Havish draw, he was out of town. Out of town, there were no minyan for Shachris, you know, one minyan for Shabbos. Everyone knew each other. Now we're Pasha, we're in town. It's time, it's time to move. Okay, listen. <laughs> Teach their own. Says the Gemara, man of Shach, e dayuk, if the flax is beaten, the loy nuffits, and it's not combed. Apparently, these are part of the processes of making flax items. Hoshni karila. Then it's called partially processed, as it was partially processed. It was beaten, but it wasn't combed. Aval. However, tari, if it was soaked, veloidayik, and it was not beaten, then hoshni karila. Then it's unprocessed. So partially processed is what? Beaten and not combed. Soaked and not beaten is. Unprocessed. Aidilma, this is the suffix, or maybe tari vlaidayik, if it's soaked in abi and nami hoshni karila. Maybe that's also unprocessed. So that is our shayla. Yeah, what pa- is. Pa- pa- that is what I say? Unprocessed. Thank you. Partially processed. Maybe when something is soaked and be in, meaning it's half of the process is done, what is that called? Soaked and not be in. Is that called partially processed or not? That is the shayla of the Gemara. Basically, one of the stages is done. Amar Rav Yehuda, 
And that's really and how the Gemara ends. Is, we know already what oh, the thank you. And once we know if it's called partially rasas, then is it called kosher or not? And that's how the Gemara ends. The Gemara does not answer the Shailah. Omer Rav Yehuda, Hani Shushi Ushavatsri. Sounds like someone from Schweiz. Oh, Shushi. Shushi in Schweiz. Look at that. What is Shushi in Schweiz? So Shushi. Oh, very good. Mini Yerakis. If you want the art school term, it's art. What is this? Art. I don't even know how to pronounce this word. Artemisian. Artemisian. Sounds fancy. fancy. Artemisian herbs. Next dinner you're at and they serve like those veggies. You don't know what it is? It's an Artemisian herb. Or ferns. There you go. Sunday night. Yeah, and Lechair will get some uh, shushi shavatsi. Shavsari. Misachin behu you allowed to use. Well, we made mention already, Chavar, there's been 40 people, Baruch Hashem, from Havisha that are going to be at the uh, event Sunday night. 20 women. So if anyone is nervous that they're going to be um, out of place or the wife will be out of place, L'chaira, out of 40 people from Havisha, you'll know, I hope, more than one. And out of the 20 women, hopefully, she'll know more than one. So pass it around, sign up. It should be an absolutely beautiful event. And I don't know if you saw the latest flyer, Rebetzin Feiner is coming. Rebetzin Feiner, I don't know if anyone knows her. Everyone knows Rabbi Feiner. Chaira, what? Is his wife? Is his wife? Chaira, she is ten times bigger than him. What? She talks about Emuna is is uh, is is another world, and uh, the topic is. Uh, I, I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, I I, I want to skip the learning stage. Why didn't they say that to begin with? We didn't know. Wait, why is that coming? I'm not coming either. But what's, what's going on? Shoshi. What's the kids? What am I doing with the kids? You have a whole week to work on it. You have a whole week to work on oh, it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you have a whole week to work in it. Rev. Finds me there. She's speaking. While the men learn, she's going to be speaking. Uh, that maybe my wife would do. No, she's going to be going. Well, sticking with Havisha, sitting with Havisha. Uh, 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 well, so, you don't want to sit with Havisha? That's, that's usually the way it goes. Usually, to say? What are you trying to <laughs> Yeah, usually that's the way it goes. Because they, go, uh, they put us together. No, but she, she's incredible. I'll be honest. I want to skip the learning center and go hear her speak. Yeah, man. She, she, she's, she's, she, uh, she's an amazing girl. You know their, their personal story? They didn't have children for, I don't know, 12, 14 years, and then they have one child who's... There's a video clip of, of him. Somebody asked him... What, what does he want? One choice. Yeah. One person in history who could learn this, who would it be? Yeah. In history? And one he person said, to go back. Oh, the gunner. He my, said his son. My son. He said his son. son can't talk. His son is uh, quadriplegic. Yeah, in, uh, yeah, those. But no, his wife is, his wife is, is, is absolutely yeah. incredible. Abnormally incredible. I think it's last minute. Only they posted that last week that she's speaking, uh, so I don't know what changed. Is that really a brownie Q&A? No, 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 no. When First, does it start? Four o'clock or something, no? No, but no, she's, speaking, she's, she's speaking. She's speaking when? Uh, Rabbi Shuster, when she's speaking, uh, I sent it to you. I signed up. I hope, I hope it was. Is there a bus for them? No, it's not. Oh, we have 40 people going. We should be able to work on something. You definitely could carpool. There's no Shiloh. Well, I said I would drive a school bus. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. We're still, she's, speaking. she's speaking at five. Learning is at five, right? Yeah, learn, well, we learn Five, she's speaking at five. But I'll tell you, if so not, 12. yeah. yeah. No, you could I'll leave earlier. Oh, there you go. What's the shadow? Of course. What's the shadow? Of course. He's a participant. What's the shadow? What's the shadow? You don't have listen. I'm not going to tie you up and force you to come, but what's the shadow? It's a There's learning, and then there's a dinner and speeches, dancing, comes it. It's gonna be gavaldic. It's gonna be gavaldic. It's gonna be gavaldic. But uh, she's 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 mamish abnormal. If there's a way to come, it's kedai pashtis for and also it's kedai for Avalia Bruni and it's kedai for uh, uh, Ravari Levitan's cup speaking also. But uh, that's from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. HIV? <laughs> KTT. Yeah, in Valley. That's what they call it. That's a Gavaldi. Gavaldi. Okay, Chavra, Oyvei, 832. Let's go. No, but seriously, it's very Kedai. Hack around. If there's 40 people coming, then, then it could be a Chavais Tishvas. You can figure it out with, with each other. Figure out with each other. Let's get one babysitter in one building. Or something. Figure it out. Figure it out. Hack around. I don't know. Bring the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Cats. Uh, no, no, uh, play pens. No, the sleeping uh, bags. What do you call it? Mm-hmm. Bags. All of us who have teenage daughters, we'll give them to the guards for the night. There you go. There you go. There you go. So you gotta, uh, well, the problem is it's 3.30. So the kids are not sleeping yet. So just put them to sleep. It's okay. Your older daughter will put the younger one to sleep. She can't do it. <laughs> Come on. Kesef. I understand. I understand. I understand. understand. Maybe I'll send just my wife to get him a drink. No, 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 no. You have to go. You should both come. 
Come, come, come. You figured out with the kids. It's not a big deal, please. Vaita. Vaita. Make it now, sure. Om Rev Yehuda, one more line, in the middle of Shoshi Yishvatsri. The firms and the Artemisian herbs, Misach and Bo, you'll have to use them as Chach. What is the Chedesh? The Chedesh is, says the bottom Rashi, Einon Meichel Adam. Shushi, we can't eat you. Einon Meichel Adam, these are herbs that are not food, and therefore you'll have to use them as Chach. Vayom Rev Shushi, you could yeah, Misach. Shashi, like my time, Kivon, you know why? Because the Shvatsri, as it sounds, pardon to the all the Shvites amongst us, Tisari <laughs> Rechayu, it's smelly, the Shvatsri. Shavik Luz, you know what happens if your Shach smells? Shavik Luz, you're going to leave. Now, this is actually a fascinating halacha that your sukkah can't be repulsive. Your sukkah is repulsive, it's puzzle, but why? You might leave the sukkah. Continues the Gemara, one more line. Amrav Chanan Barava, Hani Hizmi Vihigi, different types of thorns. Misach, well, you could yes use the Meschach. Abay Omar, Behizmi Misachin. Behigi, Loy Misachin. Why not, my time? Kivan did not return fire, their leaves fall off. Shavik, love in nothing. Yeah, it's going to come and it's going to mess you up and you're going to leave the sukkah and therefore you shouldn't do it. Okay, I'll pick up your cover tomorrow night. Let's try to.